Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Emmerich and I'm the manager of digital content here at Boystown Press. And today we have with us Jeff Tucker and he is one of our authors. Hi Jeff. Hi. Jeff, we are so excited to have you with us again today to talk about your new book. And Jeff, you have been writing for us now going on two years. I think it, yeah, about yeah. two years now. And in addition to being an author, you are also a counselor, correct? I am a licensed professional counselor as well as a nationally certified school counselor. Wonderful. So you have, you get a lot of your inspiration from, from your students, don't you? I, I do. Um, I actually, I recently moved. Uh -huh. um, so I'm no longer, um, I'm working on being a full-time PhD student, PhD student right now. Um, so I'm not uh, practicing school counseling right now, but yes, all of these these stories uh, are kind of rooted in, in the everyday experiences of, of the students that I worked with. I worked primarily with third through fifth graders, and I, I just hated leaving them. It was, it was difficult. Oh. I'll miss them. Oh, yeah. Well, and what it's so wonderful that you write these fantastic books based on your experiences that you can share with audiences and other school counselors and teachers and parents. So I want to talk about your newest book that's coming out, and this is your second book in your series, and your first book was Sammy, and your new character's name is Amelia. Can you tell us a little bit about your newest book? Uh, yes, absolutely. So uh, the new book is called Amelia Understands Equity, and it's the second book in the Chicory Elementary Stories for Success series. Um, and it's kind of, it's an anthology series, so we're following the students in this particular school. Uh, so some of the characters you're, you're already familiar with are still present, um, but we, in this particular story, uh, we're introducing a new character, which is Amelia. We have a couple of new characters being introduced, and Amelia, uh, I don't want to spoil too much, I'll say... This book is about fairness and what it actually means for something to be fair. Because if you if you work with kids, if you have kids, the, the that's not fair. I, I'm sure you hear that oh, pretty yeah. regularly. Um, so I, I just kind of wanted to explore what fairness looks like in a, a way that that a young person could understand and be able to appreciate. And you did that in such an amazing way. I I love this book, um, especially because I mean, all of our books, you know, they're they're geared toward teaching lessons to younger children. But I they re they reframe and pull me back to center every time I read and interact with them because it's one of those things of where yes, as an adult, I know that fair is not always equal, but can I articulate it? I can so much better now. <laughs> Let me put it that way. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And I yes. hope that, that educators and, and parents will be able to, to gain that from the book as well. Um, and I, there's kind of an element of, you know, eight-year-old Jeff in here who would get mad about stuff not being fair. And a lot of times we kind of, we forget what it's like to be a young person. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, we have this wealth of life experience to draw on and, and they don't and to just put ourselves in that frame of mind of you know being eight being in third grade what was that like uh, so I really try to put myself in into that kind of headspace um, when when I write for these characters oh you definitely do and especially uh, the thoughts that go through Amelia's mind because it is totally true He's seeing it through her eyes of what she's seeing is happening and what her perception of is of it and then her growth of of learning the lesson and understanding that is so easy to follow and so relatable because again no matter every every kid 
<laughs> no matter what has thought has been in those situations of where that's not fair. And then to be able to look at a situation and go, oh, okay, I see that I'm not the only one. And now let me see what I can learn from that. And that, yeah, putting yourself in walking in their shoes and being able to put it in that way. So they can not only learn the lesson, but then a, you've given a wonderful tool so we can talk about it more and have discussions on it and turn it into a either if you're a parent with just with your kids at home or if you're a school counselor with groups or entire classrooms and teachers and all of that of where it's such a universal tool to be able to read this wonderful story and then talk about each individual experience of, you know, can you relate to Amelia? Can you see how she was feeling and then how she felt at the end? So it's it's just awesome. Well, thank you. And, and I do try to, at least with this series, really approach it in a practical way. Um, this is something that as a school counselor, I've went in and the metaphor that the Mr. Collins uses in this book, I've used that on a big poster chart in a class before. Um, so I've seen it work because I've I've done it and I love I loved classroom guidance lessons. They were one of my favorite parts. That little that little light bulb that that goes off over young people's heads when they when they understand something, when they can when they can personalize it. Um, it's just is really rewarding and students we i think we tend to underestimate what they're capable of understanding and mm -hmm. we think you know like equity that sounds like such this this big topic um they're sharper than we give them credit for a lot of the time um and i i recently i i wrote a blog about this but as long as we're mindful to present the material in a way that is palatable to them and that they can understand. Uh, I'm consistently amazed at just the big topics that students are able uh, to just sink their teeth into and really understand. Oh, so true. And I, and that is something that in your story, the lesson that you use that Mr. Collins shares with Amelia and talks through, you know, <laughs> We, that one, I think that's what resonated with me so much of, of where just finding those different examples that then it's like, oh, I mean, I think of, I don't, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but <laughs> that was like a lesson that I thought, oh, I wish I would have, I wish I would have known that, that lesson of thinking about, I will give away that it has to do with flowers. And yeah. it was, it's such a wonderful, ex and I will have, I will tell you, I used, I used it like talking with my mom, and my sister about, you know, some issues with my niece and nephew and things like that of where it's like, okay, maybe this is a better analogy for us to understand why things aren't always in that way equal, but they are fair. And in that, it just, it was, um, it just, a, it's just a great book, just a great book. And it's such a wonderful second edition um, to your, to your series. And I love that you do follow you, the elementary students. And so we're going to get to see and know these characters over as more and more books come out and see different interactions. And so it's fun to kind of recognize, oh, there's, you know, there's Sammy in the yeah. classroom and they're <laughs> in that way. And you have the consistent characters, but then you have new situations. And, and I really like that. It's awesome. And it's fun artwork. It's really good. Really love the artwork. Miranda Morrissey has she's outdone herself again. The yeah. I was I was blown away by the illustrations in this new book. So yeah. my my non-existent hat tip to her. So. <laughs> yeah, she's amazing. 